स्टार्टिंग इन फाइव सेकेंड्स ऑनरेबल स्पीकर आई प्रेजेंट द इंटर एम बजट फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव द इंडियन इकोनॉमी हैज़ profound positive transformation in the last 10 years the people of india are looking ahead to the future with hope and optimism with the blessings of the people when our government under the visionary and dynamic leadership of honorable prime minister shri narendra modi assumed in office in 2014 the country was facing enormous challenges with sabka saath sabka vikas as its mantra the government overcame those challenges in right earnest structural reforms were undertaken pro people programs were formulated and implemented promptly conditions were created for more opportunities for employment and entrepreneurship the economy got a new vigor the fruits of development started reaching the people at scale the country got a new sense of purpose and hope naturally the people blessed the government with a bigger mandate in the second term our government under the leadership of honorable prime minister doubled down on its responsibilities to build a prosperous country with comprehensive development of all people and all regions our government strengthened its mantra to sabka saath sabka vikas and sabka vishwas our development philosophy covered all elements of inclusivity namely social inclusivity through coverage of all strata of the society and geographical inclusivity through development of all regions of the country with the whole of action approach of sabka priyas the country overcame the challenge of a once in a century pandemic took long strides towards atmanirbhar bharat committed to panch pran and laid solid foundations for the amrit kal as a result our young country has high aspirations pride in its present and hope and confidence for a bright future we expect that our government based on its stupendous work will be blessed again by the people with a resounding mandate our human and inclusive approach to development is a marked and deliberate departure from the earlier approach of provisioning up to village level development programs in the last 10 years have targeted each and every household and individual through housing for all har ghar jal electricity for all cooking gas for all bank accounts and financial services for all in record time the worries about food have been eliminated through free ration for 80 crore people minimum support prices for the produce of annadata are periodically increased appropriately these and the provisions of basic necessities have enhanced real income in the rural areas our government is working with an approach to develop that is all round all pervasive and all inclusive it covers all caste and people at all levels we are working to make india 
a vikshit bharat by 2047 for achieving that goal we need to improve people's capability and empower them previously social justice was mostly a political slogan for our government social justice is an effective and necessary governance model the saturation approach of covering all eligible people is the true and comprehensive achievement of social justice this is secularism in action reduces corruption and prevents nepotism there is openness and assurance that benefits are delivered to all eligible people the resources are distributed fairly all regardless of their social standing get access to opportunities we are addressing systematic inequalities that had plugged our society we focus on outcomes and not on outlays so that the socio economic transformation is achieved as our prime minister firmly believes we need to focus on four major cast they are poor women youth and farmer their needs their aspirations and their welfare are our highest priority the country progresses when they progress all for require and receive government support in their quest to better their lives their empowerment and well-being will drive the country forward we believe in empowering the poor the earlier approach of tackling poverty through entitlement had resulted in very modest outcomes when the poor become empowered partners in the development process government's power to assist them also increases many fold with the pursuit of sabka saath in these 10 years the government has assisted 25 crore people to get freedom from multi dimensional poverty our government's efforts are now getting synergized with energy and passion of such empowered people this is truly elevating them from poverty direct benefit transfer of rupees 34 lakh crore from the government using pm jan dhan accounts has led to savings of rupees 2.7 lakh crore for the government this has been realized through avoidance of leakages prevalent earlier the savings have helped in providing more funds for garib kalyan pm swanidhi has provided credit assistance to 78 lakh street vendors from that total 2.3 lakh have received credit for the third time now pm janman yojana reaches out to the particularly vulnerable tribal groups who have remained outside the realm of development so far pm vishwakarma yojana provides end to end support to artisans and craft people engaged in 18 trades the schemes for empowerment of divyangs and transgender persons reflect firm resolve of our government to leave no one behind in india stop